Uh, how do you feel, uh, what, what has led you to uh, be able to maintain your focus and your... Well, first of all, you need a, a goal, an objective, that you know where to go. Um, if you don't have an objective or a goal, you don't know where to go, so that's quite easy to answer. Uh, but the second thing is um, how to stay focused, I mean, that long. I mean, it's, it's 11 years, it's not that long. There are people out there uh, which are focused a lot longer, but um, you mentioned a lot of them. You need affirmation, you have to rebuild yourself when you have your downs. Uh, you have to uh, straighten you up when you fall, you stand, have to stand up fast and uh, you have to be clear where you want to go. And uh, if this uh, fits for you and your personality, then uh, I would say it's not easy, yes, but it's easier, it's easier. Normal people, it's it's tougher to stay focused when they have money, because with money you can buy a lot of shit. You can buy houses, cars, boats, planes, girls. Yes. So <laughs> what, what, whatsoever you can do a lot of um, not so lovely things with money, uh, which distract you, and uh, then it's really critical to stay focused. So the beginning is very easy because everybody's hungry at the beginning. Uh, after a while, when you earn money and your objective is to earn money, then normally you lose focus. You need another objective, another goal, then money. Back 30 years ago, you could do a 100 million euro, 100 million pound, 100 million dollar deal in about uh, maximum 30 days with commercial banks, everything. That's before the computers. Now, with computers, it takes you 45 to 60 days. And so that shouldn't be, but it is. Um, and uh, the uh, and part and parcel of what we talk about at the seminar is why, even though we should be able to get stuff done a lot faster, these are the, all the tools we have. As they ask me, how do you get up in the morning, Mr. Pena? Because I haven't had to work in 35 years. It's, I get up because I continue, as, as Mark said, new goals, new aspirations affirmation and, and trying to get you know you kids you meatheads as I call you across the goal line is a tough fucker it's not easy if I'd known that 28 years ago I would have never made that as a goal it is hard to stay focused it is hard and it's double hard to keep your people focused keep your employees focused uh, now I use the carrot and the stick the stick to beat them, and the carrot, the pot of gold out here. And I, I had to beat them to get to the pot of gold. Well, in today's society, the carrot, everybody loves, but nobody likes the stick. Go out in this world and uh, you learn uh, the concept, how it should be done here in the QLA seminar and what you should set up. And then you come back and then you talk with your lawyers and then you talk with your accountant and they're going to tell you what the fuck are you talking about? What, what, <laughs> what is wrong with you? Who is this castle man? Um, whatever you're going to... So that's really the first speed bump which you have to overcome. Uh, and for that to overcome that, first of all, you have to have belief in something. You have to believe in the system. You have to believe basically in something. Because if you don't have belief, it's hard to believe in the system. Um, but you, if you have belief and then self-esteem, then you can overcome this first speed bump. Even though Mr. Benya does right now a quite a hell of a job to convince all the people here that it's easy because he shows all the successes. He shows the people which have done it, show the numbers basically from the deals and how, he done, how the people have done it. And uh, so that might help quite a lot. But that's the, first, that's the first two speed bumps where you have to overcome. And then secondly, when you have done your first deal, that's always the measurement. First deal, is it done quite right or quite wrong? If it's wrong, you adjust it. If you have done it rightly and you follow the concept, then you are basically in the game. There will be mistakes. You have to make mistakes to, to grow, to get further. Um, but you should not buy a total hole, so to say, which is going to put you underwater and you call bankruptcy. So 
that's the next step. After you have done uh, quite a few deals, then all of a sudden you have to become a leader and lead your people which lead the companies and they have to deliver the number which you said they deliver. And that's the next bump where I have to go over and so on. So it's always the next level. But for the beginning, believe in yourself, believe in the system uh, and self-esteem that you can uh, overcome the new. It's easier for you when you're just operating on your own to deliver because you're not accountable to anybody else but yourself. And that you don't have other people reporting to you in the beginning. But as he said, uh, that uh, second or third speed bump is when you have people having to do what you tell them to do when you want them to do it, not when they feel like doing it. That's hard and that's leadership. It's not an absolute requirement to be numerant. But it makes it a little better because you can go through more deals quicker. Um, and, the, um, and, so, and Marcus ha had that ability. A few of the guys that have, uh, in the last four or five years that have been the stars, uh, he's the only one that I know that uh, has exhibited that being numerant. Although the other guys are successful, they made a lot of money, but it's taken them a little longer. If you're not uh, self-employed already or an entrepreneur, be wisely where you're going to invest. Look at the margin, they should be above 20% at least. It's easier to fix issues with 20% margin than with 2%. Oof, amen. Uh, yeah, um, and otherwise keep rolling when you win. Keep rolling, follow the system.